I killed some sheep. I don't feel good about it, strangely. But anyway, Zephyr, this place is really hard. If you don't know how to speedrun it, which I do. But I'm going to show you that after I've done it. Providing I get it right, which I hope I do. But I should do, because I know what to do. Yeah, they are the same breed as the enemies in, in, uh, in, um, whatever the place we went to before was. I didn't even notice that, huh. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Yeah, I didn't even, yeah, Breeze Harbour, I didn't even realise that they were the same ones. Although the rate, the enemies in this level aren't the same as the ones from Breeze Harbour, although technically, aren't they a different palette? The good guys in this place, technically, weren't they brown in the last one, now they're purple? I may be wrong. I wasn't paying the perfect attention, I grant you, but, damn, um, so, yeah, that's interesting. I've never actually noticed that. That's quite fascinating. I didn't realise they'd done that. There, were, there probably was a time... Wow, he just blew himself up. There probably was a time when I did know that, but not anymore, I guess. See, I like how they work, because um, chicks uh, get fed worms uh, by their mothers. Um, well, those in nests, anyway. Um, and... Obviously, these ones just uh, drop bombs for them, which is pretty cool. I quite like that. It's a nice, it's an interesting idea. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take this cannon. Dang cannon just ain't working for me. You think you can blast that bird, soldier? Jump maybe it's. Up. Oh crap! Sorry. Uh, maybe it's because you're shit at aiming, but whatever. Did that ever factor to you? you you're just terrible at aiming at things. Did it occur to you at any point whatsoever? Because it occurred to me quite quickly. Okay, that's done. And then... Triangle? triangle? Why did I say triangle? I don't even know. I really don't know. I, I, why did I think triangle? I thought maybe... I think my brain was thinking that you had to press- Oh Christ! I had to press triangle to get off the cannon, which you don't. You do in Spyro 3, I think. Um, I guess that's my thought process when I'm slightly daydreaming. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, hi. <laughs> okay, so... This mission, this this mission, this level is hated for many reasons. Uh, not not hated per se, but just purely on a difficulty standpoint. For two missions, and both missions have two orbs because they suck. Um, one of them really sucks for speedrunners because there's no real quick way of doing it. To be honest, um, it's just tedious, long, and annoying. But anyway, one of them can be skipped quite easily. Um, like really easily and I will show you that skip uh, after um, I've done it the proper way because it would be mean to show you the, the skipped way early because that ruins all the fun of doing it for realsies doesn't it but these things cowlicks these cowlicks are hated by everyone because you need to get them it's this pen this is Little Bo Peep. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? I want to know who that voice actor is, because I love that voice actor, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, um, it's, I just, I, I hate these things. I, um, uh, at Summer Games Done Quick, I ended up. Actually, was it Summer Games or was it Awesome Games last year? Anyway, I donated and I made. They read out my comment and I made everyone who was doing the Spyro 2 run laugh by saying, um, I've got. I've been hyped uh, to start my Let's Play of the Spyro series. Burning Cowlicks can't come soon enough. I got them all to laugh. I felt proud. It was a proud moment in my life. 
All I wanted to do was make a uh, awesome games done quick happy, and I succeeded. So, you know, I took great pride in that. But seriously, there must be a way to kill these things and banish them off the face of the earth. Because my God, I hate them so much. <laughs> but ah, uh, so much hate. I actually, it's interesting though because I think when you when you watch let's plays of this, I like I'm not saying mine's the best let's play out there by far because of that. that. I'm not saying that at all, because, you know, it's just... <sighs> there are so many great Let's Plays out there, and it's all, um, it's all a matter of opinion. Um, but I think me showing off the skips and the skills and stuff and skill stuff you can do anyway is actually quite interesting. And uh, not something a lot of people will show off, I don't think. By the way, you're supposed to use one of these. These basically make a little stem for you to uh, get on, which I was supposed to use this seed for. Uh, to get a, a different seed to get up to get that seed, but I guess I'll have to put it there instead. Um, I will take the cowlix back first because the, that mission will be apparent. So the cowlix is one mission. It says they got five cowlix, but there's actually seven. Believe it or not, isn't that lovely? Um, I did. I didn't realize it's much easier to control them with this. Actually, it's much easier. It's... Oh my god, that's so much easier. Wow. Um, Wow, that is... Oh, man. Um, okay. So I'm just having a little moment with myself about that. That's really nice. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy. The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. Yep. Romeo and Juliet and Little Bo Peep. And... Yeah. As you can guess, as the story of Romeo and Juliet goes, that uh, Juliet there is clearly a member of Breeze Harbour, because it's a bird. So that's why it's a forbidden love, because how could they? How could they? It's, I can't remember what the, um, what the families are actually called, that's really bad. Oh, it's so, it's, one of them begins with C, I'm sure. Like, I have no idea. I. I, I can't even remember, but yeah, like, the, the point stands, um, they are clearly, uh, that, that's the reference they're getting at, and I quite like it, actually, they did a really good job with what it is, um, it's, it's a really interesting concept that they created, actually, it's very original, um, I haven't actually seen this done in another game, to be honest, I'm trying to think of another moment where I've seen something this creative, actually, two, two different worlds, uh, connected in a very weird way, um, but I, I really can't think of one right now. I'm sure there may be one, but as of right now, not coming to me. Okay, you got up. I hate you. Did I mention that? I feel like I have. Did you just bounce off that worm? It did look like you did. Actually, that's another interesting point, because uh, as I mentioned the chick thing earlier, they eat worms. I like that the worms are the things that give you energy, and they don't get given to the chicks at all. That's kind of amusing. It's like you want them to suffer or something, which you kind of do, but yes. If you actually go to the final world and get the... You can get the Super Flame early, as I think I've mentioned before. Um, and I probably won't be able to show it off because I haven't... I'll, I'll try and um, pull it off for you guys. But it's very hard to pull off. Um, and, yeah, you... Yeah. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. Thanks. <laughs> There are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. Yep, and I know exactly where they are. Uh, but I'll get them after. I'll do a different mission first. But um, yes, as I was saying, do I want to do them now? No, I'll do them now. Um, as I was saying, yeah, the um, you can get a super flame early, um, and there is a it's a very specific trick. Um, and I've never done it before, so I will give it a go. I will also try and attempt to, I, like, I, I, I will unlock Gulp normally, and then I will attempt to create, recreate the skip to get into him early. That may not go well, 
<laughs> we'll give it a try. Spyro, my boy, I've got a magic bean, uh, I mean seed, for you in here somewhere. Uh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Okay. Oh, whoops. I didn't. Oh, sorry. Uh, if you need to see back, just plant the plant and it will turn back into a seed again. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip your cartoon uh, dialogue. Uh, but yes. So, basically, here we go. We plant a seed. We will plant it there, for example, and it will create a seed because it's a plant and it's a seed. And what am I doing wrong here? Wait, am I supposed to really. Wait, what? Really? Am I what? Am I really supposed to. Oh, no, I remember. No, I remember. I am supposed to do that. I thought I had to put it there first. I forgot about that. I remember there's one up here, which we'll get in a bit. Okay, I remember now. Now, this section isn't actually that hard. It's just long and boring. And, it yeah, it, it's just really boring. Um, but it's much quicker um, when you know how to speed run it. And I will show that off after. Because I do know how to do it. I do. I've researched things. Um... I've done some research for you guys, so I know how to do things. Aren't I aren't I good to you? I hope so. Um, I hope I don't miss with this seed, because it means I have to go down and fix it. But yeah, so... Oh, wait, now let's get closer, I think. There we go. I right, see, so we want to put that about there-ish. Good. Let's back off a little bit and go. There we go. So this is part one. Part one is the longer section, but you can completely skip part one, so, uh, yeah. Hello, Professor. Well done, my boy. That Here is enthusiastic. To get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Okay. Thanks for the orb. Now give me the seeds. So, the trick with this is actually very simple. Um, it can be done completely without the seeds, um, but... Either way, you'd need to go down here in a 100% run. Pure, well, actually, if it was any percent, you wouldn't need to go here. But in 100%, you do need to go here purely because, obviously, you need to get the gems. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to put a first seed there. Um, so you can uh, get up here and jump across. At least that's the plan and the point. But you can double jump. Same with here. You can actually double jump up there. But we'll do it the proper way. Um, because, you know, it's pretty cool. So here you go. Romeo! Romeo! <laughs> Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Romeo! Romeo! Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Lovely. Okay, so I think now is a good time to show you the cheating way uh, before I go and do the rest of the Calyx. Um, let's see if I remember cr this correctly. I'm pretty sure I do. I'm pretty sure I know how to do this. It's pretty simple if I remember correctly. So what you want to do is you want to double jump up to here, which, okay, I'm proving it's not as actually easy as I made it out to be. Because you have to do a pretty specific double jump to get up here, actually. Now that I think about it. Ah, god damn it. Give me a second. I may need to cut, but yeah. Ah, god damn it. Fuck. There it is. And if I didn't screw it up, which actually I didn't, there you go. I'm at the professor. I almost did. But actually, that didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Uh, so yeah, there you go. It's, they, they, it's, a trick, it's a magic trick. It's skipping stuff. If you're better at double jumping with, than I am, then it's much easier. But yeah. So here we go. Actually, do you know what? In all honesty, I thought you actually needed um, uh, to kill a certain amount of enemies to get up here. Uh, because I thought it was one of those things where it springs you up. But I forgot it was a ladder. Um, you know, honestly, completely forgot. I forgot the ladders existed, actually. Anyway, for these guys, they're actually very interesting, because what you want to do is you want to hit them with a super flame, and then they fly into the sky, like the magnificent assholes that they are. I hate them so. Uh, but, yeah. 
Um, they do fly up, and you only need to get them up two layers, so it's not actually that bad, just as long as they get up, obviously. Sometimes they can be a pain. But they, they work mildly well when they want to. So, okay, can I get up now? I was going to say, can I get up here and shoot that? Oh, yes, I did get it. Nice. Just before it ran out as well. Beautiful. Is that everything? It looks like it was. And I could have missed something. But I know something is up here, and it is this. We've seen some of these before. Ah, look at them. Majestic. Oh, Christ! Okay, I knew there was something up here. I feel like I saw a gem down there, so I should probably check just to make sure. Uh, it must have been a shadow or something. Oh, well, never mind. Worth a, worth a check. Don't want to miss something, do we? So, and then get lost about for half an hour, not completely forgetting that this section exists. Because that has happened before. Not necessarily in this level, I think it was Spyro 3, but I completely forgot. Like, I'd been to an area, and then after I went there, I forgot that area existed. Completely. And I spent about half an hour looking for it, apart from in the one door that it was in. I was like, ah. Yeah, I did do that mission, didn't I? Oh, I thought it was a late, I thought it was an earlier level than that, but yeah. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Thank you. It's a fair reward. Thank you. As fair as you, my fair maiden? No? Not quite? Okay. Well, I may as well get all the, um, the question mark boxes because... The chance boxes, I guess. I don't know why I call them chance boxes. Maybe because Monopoly has chance cards and they have a question mark like that. But, yeah, the, um... I may as well get all of them because we're not coming back. After this, I apologise for yawning. It seems to happen a lot in my Let's Plays. I don't know why. I hope it makes you yawn as well. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, um... Uh, let's, uh... I just, I, you're gonna put a comment saying, yeah, you're, like, yawn, your yawns make me yawn, and I'm just not gonna remember it. So, uh, add a hashtag, graceful yawn. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, ah, the bombs, it's like World War Two again. Ah, no. It's horrible. The plague, I have no idea what I'm saying. Anyway. So, I think the last time I recorded this game, I know the last time I uploaded it was New Year's Day, and the day is currently 11th of January. But the uh, the last time I actually recorded this, I think, was like mid-December, so it's been it's been like nearly a month for me. Uh, which is surprising, because I really love this game, and I thought, ah, I thought I would have played it more. I've just been, um, I don't know, I've just been very lazy recently with recording stuff, uh, just because, um, I just, I feel, I feel like every now and then, I, I will always have loads of backlogged uh, content, but I feel like just taking a break every now and then. So this game took a small break, um, because it needed one, and look, there's a TNT. Sweet. I think actually if, um, if you time it right, I'm pretty sure I may be right, um, you can, if you fire and then run for it, you can actually... Oh no, I know what it is, it's um, if you have the fireball, you can break down the door with the fireball and you can be um, in the TNTs. Um, I'm pretty sure the TNTs aren't actually real objects, you can stand inside them. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Is there anything behind here? No, okay, good, 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 good. Just to make it- Oh, skill point, not skill point, just life. Gen generously given to me, thank you. I was going to say, that's not actually a skill point, that's not what constitutes a skill point, but... That should be the last one. Yes. Okay, we're done with this level. Nice. Wow! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh yeah, uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze builder defenses. Good job, soldier. Thank you. I literally helped the other team not too long ago. So take that how you will. And for the first time in ages, I'm going to leave through the actual portal.
Do we condone this? Yeah, I guess. So this has been a pretty long video. So I think now's a good time to end it. Wouldn't you agree? I agree.